So again, if we want to find the line of local linearity for this equation for any point on this graph, we have something like that. And we do know that the slope is changing. Right? It looks like it's actually decreasing as we get further and further to the right. So again, setting up our difference quotient as h is going to approach 0. So we want to get closer to those eight, uh, h to 0. We have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. OK? So yes? Well, it could have been that other equation, f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. But we're using this for as our difference quotient. But no, again, remember, here's a point. Here's x. That's f of x, yeah. right? Here is x plus h, meaning the distance from here to here is h. So this point is f of x plus h. We're trying to find that local linearity. Well, right now, if you were to find the slope between those two points, you're not going to have a, you're, that's not going to give you the equation line. But as h approaches 0, it gets smaller and smaller. So what we're doing is we're just using this to be able to find that local linearity right at that point as h goes to 0. But yes, for all of our problems right now, we're just going to be using this formula. We, I will show later how to use the other formula. And then we'll also show other ways of doing this to completely. But I wanted to do this example because it goes through some algebra that I know some of us need. So I just wanted to kind of run through it one more time. Limit as h approaches 0 of da, 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 so x plus h minus square root of x all over h. Ugh, radicals. I hate radicals. But that's OK because we remember from limits, when we have our radicals, we just can get rid of our radicals by rationalizing the root. Correct? Yes? So as long as you guys remember, oh, ra oh, OK, I can rationalize it. It's not a big deal. Just make sure you multiply on the top and the bottom. Right? Rationalize the radical. That's OK. So limit as h approaches 0. Now we're going to get x plus h minus x all over h times x plus h plus the square root of x. OK? Again, notice here. Yes? I don't understand why you put it in uh, like that, where you just put x plus h right under the radical. Because it's like the same thing. If, all right, do this. f of 3. That's going to equal 3, right? You just rip whatever's inside there, you replace with your x. Correct? Right, so, well, what if I did f of h? Then it'd just be the square root of h, right? Whatever's inside of that, that's what you're plugging in in for x, right? So what if I did f of z plus y? Well, now it's going to be the square root of z plus y. Whatever's inside of that, that's your input, goes into your input value of your equation, OK? So f of smiley face equals square root of smiley face. Follow the pattern? Okay. So we're using the x plus h because remember, that's that secondary point that we have. And we're now trying to condense that h to be to 0. So here, we see that the x's subtract to 0. The h's divide to 1. And now we can plug in. Um, so we're, therefore, we're left with. 1 over square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Now let's write this one more time. As h approaches 0, let's substitute in 0 in for uh, h. And we get 1 over the square root of x plus 0 plus the square root of x, which equals 1 over the square root of x plus 1 over the square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Ah, cool. So the slope of that line is 1 